Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the OCVarsity.com softball dugout show with the star, Carlos Arias, Steve Fryer here, and Magic Man Jonathan Camps behind the camera there. Carlos making us look good, doing all the editing, all the good fancy stuff. Carlos, um, we're here at Aliso Niguel High School, and uh, they're off to a pretty good start, right? Yeah, you know, uh, this team has is loaded with hitting. They got uh, Marissa Gilboyna, the shortstop. She's going to uh, Minnesota. They got the third baseman, Tiffany Mickelson. She's going to Oklahoma State. They got some great pitching, uh, Ashley DeJanay and uh, Shannon Riley. Um, it's a veteran group that, yeah. you know, this is their year where they could make something happen in Division Two, and in the CV League. I think they're going to be the favorites in there. They've already got wins over Mission Viejo and Canyon. I mean, this is a team that's, that's going to make some moves. All right. Well, Carlos, let's uh, have a little conversation with Coach Alan Coet and a couple of his Wolverines players. Maybe with this veteran bunch, it might be the year where you guys uh, kind of have a little bit of an edge on some of these younger teams, right? I hope so. Um, their leadership and experience, big games, um, is valuable, obviously. Um, like I said, they're mentoring the younger freshmen who've got some big hits and big games for us. So I think with that combination, we have a good chance to go far. We want to take league this year, and we're first game. Uh, we play Dana here, and that's our rivals, so we want to do well. And yeah, the Michelle crew, that's going to be tough, but I think we can handle it. This team, we've really gotten to know each other really well, and uh, we've gotten to the, be a st strong team this year, so hopefully we'll take league and hopefully take it to CIF. Hey, Carlos, we got a pretty good tournament coming up this weekend, the Til Timber Wolf Classic, right? Yeah, that one's going to be out at Barber Park on, on Saturday, and it's going to wrap up that tournament. I was out there uh, this past weekend and got to see some really good young teams. Um, Esperanza is going to be playing Huntington Beach in the first semifinal, and Oak Park um, from up in the Valencia area is playing Cypress. Now, Esperanza has uh, Arkansas-bound Nicole Schroeder. She's a really good third baseman. Um, they got a freshman uh, uh, catcher. Her name's Maddie Ross. She's absolutely knocking the ball out of the wow. out, out of the park, man. She's playing great. Then you also have their pitcher, Haley Copeland, who uh, took uh, the 1,400 Bat Busters to a national title last summer, and she's their pitcher. So, I mean, you're looking at a pretty darn good team there. Cypress, which is playing Oak Park, they have a freshman stud pitcher. Her name's Ashley Ross, and uh, I saw her take care of business last week. Not only can she pitch, she can hit, man. It's, it, it's a good young team. How many of the elite teams have more than one good pitcher? Do a lot of them have two good ones these days? Well, these days, if you want to be really good, you have to have two. Pacifica has two, um, but a lot of teams don't. You know, the high school teams, they don't have that kind of depth. Um, Pacifica has Kaylee Carlson, who was first team all county last year, and they got a freshman, Weingartner, who's also awesome. So, I mean, that's, that's why they're number one in the county. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's about pitching depth, it looks like, this year. We're going to find out who does well in the Timberwolf Classic. And then uh, next week, and we'll be talking about that next week. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, the championship game is also on Saturday at 2 p.m. So you can see those semifinals at 10 a.m., championship game at 2. Boom, you're gone for the rest of the night. Go see Hunger Games. Oh, over, <laughs> over at Bill Barber Park, which is in the city of? Irvine. Yeah, right on. It's a nice place for softball. Well, Carlos Harris will be there, and apparently he's getting the share of the uh, ticket receipts with all the schedule information. So Carlos will be there as we're covering softball. The weather's getting better, and the softball's getting hot here at OCVarsity.com, where we've got you covered.